Two mathematicians are having lunch together. One of them says to the other one, I've got three daughters. The product of their ages is 72. And the sum of their ages is the number of this house. How old are my three daughters? Well, the second mathematician, he thinks for a moment. He walks off, he goes and takes a look at the number on the front of the house. And after a few minutes, he comes back and he says, this question is simply impossible. So the first mathematician says, OK, I'll give you a clue. My eldest daughter has got brown eyes. The second mathematician thinks for another few minutes and then says, OK, now I know how old your three daughters are. The question we would like to answer is how old are the three daughters and how did the second mathematician know? When solving this question, what we need to do is put ourselves in the mind of the second mathematician. We're looking for three numbers that multiply to give 72. We're going to find what they add up to and think about the information we've got before we use the clue. What we should do then, because it's actually not that many combinations, is just write out all the possible ages. So I'm going to start a bit of a table of possible ages and list every possible combination of three numbers that have a product of 72. The key with this kind of question is trying to work in some kind of logical order. So I'm going to try and work in numerical order going downwards, starting with a really obvious combination, 1, 1 and 72. They definitely multiply to give 72. It's a very unlikely combination of three ages for some sisters, but we don't mind about that. We're just working mathematically here. So next I'm going to try 1, 2 and 36. Again, they multiply to give 72. Not likely ages for three sisters, but we're following this order. So we're going to go 1, 3, 24, 1, 4, 18, 1, 6, 12, 1, 8, 9. These are all of the options with 1 as the first age because they're the factor pairs for 72. Next, we can move on to some combinations with 2 as the first age then. So we could have 2, 2, and 18. 2, 3, to give 6, and 12. And 2, 4, to give 8, and 9. We could have 2, 6, to give 12, and we need another 6. Are there more options we could have? have two, no that's all four with two isn't it, there's no more, no more possible options with two. There are also a couple of options with three, we could have three, three to give nine and eight, or we could have three and four which would give us twelve and six. I think these are all the possible options. You could check if I've missed any though. These are all the possible combinations of three sisters' ages which multiply to give 72. Next step then should be us considering the sums of those ages. Because if you remember, the second mathematician went away, had to look at the house number, which is the sum, but he couldn't decide afterwards which of these combinations was correct. So let's start another column in our table, and this is our sum column. So for each row, all we need to do is add up the three numbers and look at their total. So the top row definitely adds to 74, 39 for our next one. I might fast forward on this bit because it's a bit boring. Okay, we've now 
I've got all of the sums of each of these possible combinations. This is the part where we need to put ourselves in the mind of that second mathematician. Because he came back and he said, I just don't know. I've seen the house number, which is one of these numbers, and I still don't know their ages. Let's consider a couple of possibilities. If the house number was 39, there's only one way to make that. It has to be 1, 2 and 36. If the house number was, say, 19, the only way to get 19 would be 1, 6 and 12. There's just one house number which doesn't give us an immediate answer. And that's 14. Because if you have a look, for 14, there are two possible combinations. We could either have 2, 6 and 6 or 3, 3 and 8. So one thing we know is the sum must have been 14. That must be the house number because the mathematician couldn't decide. It was impossible to answer the question based on just that information. This is where we use the clue though. And we can think about our two combinations. Either the daughters are age two, age six, and age six, let me improve my two a bit, or they're age three, three, and eight. The clue is going to help us decide which one's right. Because the eldest daughter has brown eyes. Well, that implies there must just be one eldest daughter. And it has to therefore be the 338 option. Because that's the only option with just one eldest daughter. So what we think is that this is our right answer. That's how the mathematician found 3, 3 and 8.